welcome to lecture number 38 of uh, fuzzy sets logic and systems and applications in this lecture we will discuss fuzzy tolerance and equivalence relations so as i mentioned that uh, in this lecture we will discuss two relations fuzzy tolerance and fuzzy equivalence so, let us first understand what is a fuzzy tolerance relation. So, here if we have a set a relation set R and uh, if it is defined in the universe of discourse capital X cross capital X such that the fuzzy relation set R is a proper subset of x cross x you can see here. Then the fuzzy relation set R will be a fuzzy tolerance relation if it satisfies the following two properties. What are these two properties? The first property is the reflexivity you can see here and then the second property is symmetry. So, reflexivity property what does it says is that from the fuzzy relation matrix we have here the strength values or in other words we can say the membership values of the fuzzy relation set. So, here mu r of x i comma x i should be 1. So, what does this mean? This means that if we have a fuzzy relation set, if we represent this fuzzy relation set in the form of a matrix as we have already seen in the previous lectures. So, all diagonal elements here will be 1. So, in other words we say the mu r x i comma x i is equal to 1 for every x i belonging to capital X which is here is very simple to understand that the all the corresponding elements all the uh, elements corresponding to the same row and same column will be equal to 1 or will be unity in other words. So, this is called the reflexivity. Now, symmetry property. So, symmetry property is also very simple to understand here that if we have the membership values corresponding to x i comma x j that means mu r of x i comma x j and this should be equal to mu r of x j comma x i. So, if this satisfies then we can say the matrix which is corresponding to the fuzzy relation set R is symmetric or which is which follows the symmetry property. And here of course, this is for every x i x j belonging into capital X as the universe of discourse. And here this is needless to say that mu r of x i comma x i mu r x i comma x j and mu r x j comma x i are the membership values of the elements 
x i comma x i x i comma x j and x j comma x i respectively for any fuzzy relation r. So, basically fuzzy tolerance relation satisfies two properties. First property is reflexivity and the second property is symmetry. So, if these two properties for any fuzzy relation set r is satisfied, then we can say a fuzzy relation set is a fuzzy tolerance relation. So, let us take an example here to understand the fuzzy tolerance relation better. So, here we are taking a fuzzy relation matrix R, you can see here this is the fuzzy relation set R and this fuzzy relation set is given in the form of a matrix. So, we see here the elements as part of this matrix and these elements are nothing but the membership values. And uh, these membership values can be represented in terms of mu and the its corresponding rows and columns. For example, if we take 0.7, so this 0.7 of fuzzy relation matrix is nothing but this is mu r and since this 0.7 is corresponding to row number x2, so we write here x2 and then this is corresponding to the column x3, so we write here x3. So, mu r x2 x3 is 0.7. Similarly, if we take another element here, let us say 0.6, this is in terms of its membership value of the fuzzy relation set that we have taken is mu r of x 3 comma x 1. Why x 3 and x 1? Because 0.6 is corresponding to the third row uh, which is uh, de designated as x 3. So, here we have written x 3 and then separated by comma and uh, we have written x 1. So, x 1 is basically the column corresponding to which 0.6 is. So, 0 0.6 can be represented here as mu r and please understand that capital R here is nothing but the name of the fuzzy relation set. So, that is why this r is and uh, so, 0 0.6 here is nothing but this is corresponding mu r x 3 comma x 1. So, this way we understand that all the elements of the fuzzy relation matrix can be understood and now here we have all the elements of the fuzzy relation matrix is represented in terms of its mu membership values. So, you can see here that as to how all these elements are with respect to its rows and columns and these values are the membership values of fuzzy relation set R. So, once this is clear now since we are interested in checking that the given fuzzy relation set R is a fuzzy tolerance relation or not. So, in order to do that we need to check whether the two properties that was just mentioned are satisfied or not. So, these two properties are the reflexivity property and then 
another property here is the symmetry property. So, let us now go through the first property and check whether the given fuzzy relation matrix R satisfies reflexivity property or not. And we know that we need to check this condition. If this condition is there, then we can say that a given fuzzy relation set R satisfies reflexivity property. So, as I have already mentioned that reflexivity property is satisfied when its diagonal elements are 1. Why diagonal elements are 1? Because uh, you know in di for diagonal elements we have these corresponding elements are having same row and same column. So, for example, here if we take this element we see that we have this as this element is nothing but this mu r x 2 and x 2 and this is 1. Similarly, we write all these elements where these elements are corresponding to the same row and same column. So, we see that mu r x 1 x 1 is 1, mu r x 2 x 2 is 1, mu r x 3 x 3 is 1, mu r x 4 x 4 is 1, which we can see very clearly. So, finally, we see that the diagonal elements here, all these diagonal elements are 1. Just by looking at the fuzzy relation matrix that is given to us, we can just check the diagonal elements and if all the diagonal elements are 1, then we can say the reflexivity property for the fuzzy relation set R is satisfied. So, now we can clearly see that R satisfies the reflexivity property. So, the first property is satisfied. Now, let us look for the second property that is symmetry property. So, in symmetry property we have mu r of x i comma x j equal to mu r of x j comma x i which is here. And uh, again this is for every x i x j belonging into capital X. So, we have the fuzzy relation set R, the same fuzzy relation set R that is given here is this and let us take this and uh, verify this. So, when we check for this condition we find that mu r x 1 x 2 which is this is equal to mu r x 2 x 1 and here we see that both of these elements is equal to 0.9. Similarly, when we see for all combinations we find that the symmetry property is very well satisfied here. So, what does this mean? This means that any element corresponding to a particular row and column is same if the row and columns are interchanged. So, here in this case the fuzzy relation set R that has been given satisfies the symmetry property as well. So, when both of these properties are satisfied, we can clearly say that the fuzzy relation set R is a fuzzy tolerance relation. Please understand that a fuzzy relation set R 
can only be called as fuzzy tolerance relation when both of these properties are satisfied. So, here in this case in the example that we have taken, we have taken fuzzy relation set R and for this fuzzy relation set R both of these properties the reflexivity, symmetry are satisfied. So, this R is qualified to be called as fuzzy tolerance relation. Now, let us take an other example here, where we check whether the given fuzzy relation set R is a fuzzy tolerance relation or not. So, on the same lines we move forward and see that whether the reflexivity property and symmetry property both are satisfied for this fuzzy relation set or not. So, when we try to see for reflexivity property, we apply this criteria. So, as I mentioned that we can quickly just by looking at the fuzzy relation matrix, we can quickly comment on this property. So, we see that all the diagonal elements are not 1. So, this is not equal to 1. Only out of these 3 diagonal elements only one diagonal element is 1, but rest 2 elements are not 1. So, the condition for the reflexivity property is that all the diagonal elements should be equal to 1. So, just by looking at it we can say that the reflexivity property is not satisfied. So, it is mentioned here you can see that mu r x 1 x 1 is equal to 0.8 which is not equal to 1 mu r x 2 x 2 is 1 mu r x 3 x 3 is 0.5 which is not equal to 1. So, this way we can say the fuzzy relation set that has been given to us is not satisfying the reflexivity property. Now, let us go ahead and check for the symmetry property. Here I would like to tell you that since we are finding whether the fuzzy tolerance relation whether this R that is that has been given to us is a fuzzy tolerance relation or not. So, please understand that since the reflexivity property is not satisfied. So, we need not go ahead and check for the symmetry property because there is no use of it. It may be symmetric, but if it is not reflexive then we can say the given fuzzy relation set R is not a fuzzy tolerance relation. So, the condition is that both the properties needs to be satisfied. So, here since the reflexivity property is not satisfied. So, we, we need not go ahead and check for the symmetry property, because just by checking any one of the properties we can say that whether we should go forward or not. So, since reflexivity property is not satisfied we can clearly say that the given fuzzy relation set is not a fuzzy tolerance relation. Now, let us take another example here of fuzzy tolerance relation. Here also let us check for the given fuzzy relation matrix fuzzy relation set R and uh, let us check for this fuzzy relation matrix R whether this R is a fuzzy tolerance relation or not. So, the fuzzy relation matrix that is given to us is here and you can see. And if we are interested in checking the 
fuzzy tolerance relationship or whether capital R is a fuzzy tolerance relation or not, again we have to proceed on the similar lines and we need to check for the two properties. First one is reflexivity and the second one is the symmetry. So, when we see here the given fuzzy relation matrix. So, just by looking at the diagonal elements here, we can see that all the diagonal elements are 1. So, when as I have already mentioned, when all the diagonal elements are 1, then it is obvious that mu r x i comma x i is 1. And if this is the case, then we can say that the reflexivity property is satisfied. So, from the fuzzy relation matrix, we can write all mu values in mu x i x j format and then we see that mu r x i comma x i is 1. That means, mu r x 1 x 1 1, mu r x 2 x 2 1, mu r x 3 x 3 1, mu r x 4 x 4 1, mu r x 5 x 5 1. So, this way we see that the reflexivity property is satisfied. Now, let us quickly go ahead and check for the symmetry property. And for symmetry property also, if we see that the mu r x 1 x 2 is equal to mu r x 2 x 1 and this is equal to 0.1 mu r x 1 x 3 is equal to mu r x 3 x 1 is equal to 0.8, mu r x 1 x 4 is equal to mu r x 4 x 1 is equal to 0.2 and mu r x 1 x 5 is equal to mu r x 5 x 1 is equal to 0.3. So, similarly, all other values can also be uh, written here. So, what does this mean here is that mu r x i x j is equal to mu r x j x i. For this fuzzy relation matrix, for this fuzzy relation set which has been given to us. So, when this is satisfied, we can say that the fuzzy relation set R satisfies the symmetry property. So, when this property is also satisfied, we can say the reflexivity and symmetry both of these properties are satisfied for the given fuzzy relation set. So, we can say that R is a fuzzy tolerance. relation. So, this way we can comment on R now and uh, the given fuzzy relation set is a uh, fuzzy tolerance relation. Please note that it may also be possible that uh, any given fuzzy relation set may not be a fuzzy tolerance relation always. But in this case here, since both the properties for the R given is satisfied, we can say that the R is a fuzzy tolerance relation. So, with this I would like to stop here and in the next lecture, we will uh, discuss the fuzzy equivalence relations and its properties. Thank you.